Yeah, I was born in South Carolina, raised in Chicago, and I moved to Tennessee in 1987. Then uh, went to Hawassi College of Massville and UT Knoxville, and uh, majored in broadcasting, which ensured a, a nice career at McDonald's or delivering food with Postmates. I moved to Nashville in the fall of 2000 to pursue stand-up comedy, which is what I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be like David Letterman, but there was no career path. Like, I just read books about him where it's like he majored in broadcasting and then moved to LA and got The Tonight Show. And that's not how it works for anybody. <laughs> so, but, uh, but that was the path I was on where it's like, okay, I worked in local TV and radio and then I started doing stand-up and I just love stand-up. So I, I've been touring the country for the last 17 years, you know, telling stupid jokes to people. Thanks for the opportunity to come talk with you. So, you know, for me in the classroom at Tennessee State and College of Business, I try to be very innovative in my approach to teaching. I don't just look at teaching as me communicating what's in the textbook. I look at taking what's in the textbook, helping students understand how that applies to the real world, but in a way where they can go forward and actually impact change or impart change in their, in their local communities. So when I thought about the conversation and I said, you know, it'd be a great opportunity to talk about some of the innovative things that are happening in education mm -hmm. and how education can support what's happening in the wider community because there's this whole push for service learning there's this whole push for students to get more engaged outside of the classroom and that's exactly what i try to do pretty much each semester i have folks in the business community in the you know political space come into the classroom engage with the students but last year, I started taking students out into the community. Mm -hmm. So for example, my entrepreneurship class at TSU worked with the Cupcake Collection and Mignon pretty much the entire semester. So we actually would go and have class at the Cupcake Collection. Wow. Mignon would come in the classroom and speak to the students. So we're looking at this holistic approach. We're not just in the classroom reading from a textbook. We're understanding how entrepreneurship happens, how business happens, how it's conducted, you know, in different spaces.